see you there. I'm Jay Chugstein and uh, I'm just out here in some wetlands just doing a bit of chub fishing and uh, well hey I think you guys should probably join me on my journey out here. I'm gonna be looking for all sorts of crazy wild animals. Oh what do you know? We got a chub. Now the chub is actually just kind of like a giant minnow. You really don't want to eat them but they're kind of fun if you want to go fishing for them. Anyway if you want to see more cool stuff like this stream chub, keep watching the video. I think you'll really enjoy what's coming up next. Smells like Ontario. That right there is our flower. That's the Ontario Trillium. It's on the Ontario flag. And boy, do these things spread and grow like wildflowers. Whew. If you're ever around one, don't forget to stop and take a sniff. Never pick a trillium. It's illegal. Oh, that's called a red columbine. Now that is quite the intricate little flower. If you ever see one of those, you go ahead and smell it, that's not gonna hurt you. If you look inside too, you got five little channels. Bugs love red columbines. Pollinating these bad boys, it's like taking candy from a baby. Yeah. That flower smelled pretty good, didn't it? You know what though, I was thinking, if we wanna find something that smells the opposite of a flower. And I'm talking the worst stink you can find. I think we should check out this other place I know. I think I got a friend hanging out there we could probably talk with. bites you. Goodbye finger. I'll tell you that much. Whew. Now these guys stink. Now, whew, my heart is just pounding. I haven't wrestled one of these in a while. Whew. Do not approach a snapping turtle. Never pick one up. I'll tell you what. Whew. Man, now these guys, they can live a long time. This guy might be 70, 80 years old even. That is crazy. Look at that mouth. Oh, you seeing that thing? I would never put my face close to one of these. Whew. I'm gonna let him go because he's not happy and he wants my fingers. So I'm gonna let him go. We're gonna say goodbye to Shelly here. You've been a good sport. Whew. Whew. He said don't pick up the turtle. You picked up the turtle. Now that was cool, wasn't it? Now I'm thinking maybe we should find something a little less scary and a little bit cuter. How about we check out some amphibians like a frog? frog probably born last year oh yeah he's not even scared I don't have to whisper anymore I got him now these guys they'll just hop along eating up little bugs might get eaten by a snapping turtle if they're not lucky but they live in ponds like this they love it this right here is the perfect spot for one of those little guys let's see if we can find anything else in here what have we here? That's a find. Crayfish. You can 
really feel the pinches when they're angry. Now this little guy, that's a crayfish. Oh, kind of like a lobster, but they live in fresh water. And they don't get too big, but they still have claws and they'll pinch you. You see that guy? Wow. Now if you look close, he's got these little orange tips on his claws. They're kind of like warning labels, I would call it. They say, don't go near these little warning zones or you're gonna get snipped. Right now, he's trying to snip me. Whew. Yeah, what a find. Oh, and it's only May. Wow. I'm gonna let him go. He's got some babies to make. So I'm just gonna... There he goes. Everyone say bye to Sheldon. Oh, doesn't get much better than this. Pretty neat, huh? But I bet we could find something even cooler. And it doesn't live in the water either. It's right here in a forest. Let's roll over some logs, see what we can find. So we're here in Wasega Beach Provincial Park and we're looking for the Eastern Redback Salamander. Now something tells me one of our little friends is under this log because it's nice and moist in here. Not too acidic, not too many pine trees. And they love that moisture, they love worms, anything like that. So let's roll this over, see if we've got one under here. Oh, we got a winner. Look at that guy, he's huge. Huge, wow. You guys see that? Now, fun fact about these little guys, if you touch their tail, they're gonna drop it. And that tail's gonna keep on wiggling. That's a little device they use to keep those predators occupied. That tail falls off, it'll grow right back. Maybe in a couple of days, maybe a couple months. But they get away swift and clean. No tail. Wow. Now another trick with salamanders and other stuff you get from under logs is you don't want to put them on the ground and roll that log on top of them. You're going to want to put their home back nice and smooth. And then you're going to want to set the salamander outside the log. Remember, never touch these. There he goes, off to a new home. The same home. I really want to hold him in a uncomfortably fun way to look at him. Like, wow, now that's a chunker. Look at that toad. Even bigger than the last one. Ooh. Now, I wouldn't kiss this one and hope a prince is going to show up. That's not the right idea. If you see a toad like this, just let him be. Probably shouldn't pick him up and make sure he's not on the lawn so dad doesn't run him over with the mower. There you go, little fella. Go ahead. Go on. It, yep. 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 There you go. There he is, back into his little habitat. Did you see that water snake? Holy, you wouldn't want to get in the water with one of those. That's pretty scary. There he goes. Just trucking along. Ruined. Well, that about sums it up here. I think we've done enough prowling for today, wouldn't you say? I mean, we got to see a turtle, we got to see frogs, we got to see toads, even a salamander and a stream chub. So, I mean, that's a great day in my books. If you ever want to pop by and go on another adventure with me, just keep on chugging along, click that subscribe button, and come on back to my channel. I'll be here.